Welcome back to Blar, Random Rook Reviews. Gonna do a toy hunt at Walmart today. So sometimes there's stuff on clearance, other times not. And let's see what they have. Got a Loki over here, kind of on the wrong side. A couple of Power Rangers, they're $17. It's a way higher price than a Ross uh, Power Ranger. Some basic WWE action figures. Kind of lacking in those. The aisles usually stacked up better. For WWE, we do have a Destro, which is not common in my area, so it was kind of cool to see this. It was tempting to get, but I feel like this series may go on sale at some point in time, or hit clearance, because the Lady J's have been there forever and nobody buys them. Uh, this side of the aisle is kind of just uh, video game stuff, like casual video games like Among Us, and we have Sonic, Super Mario Brothers, Beyblade, a couple Fortnite things. We do have some. Masters of the Universe stuff here. Ditsu, Stratos back there. I don't remember Stratos used to be gray, right back in the day. I thought he was a gray action figure. On the other side, we have the superheroes, tiny Avengers. It's like kind of bright yellow packaging. They look pretty kind of lackluster. Got Spider Man things. Infinity Saga, the normal stuff you see at Walmart. But I did notice these Mech Strikes because the Mech Strike line after I bought it at Ross and in the December to remember, uh, got, I got a little more interested in. So you have a dinosaur with Iron Man and then you have a Falcon here. And I think the other one they have is, yeah, Black Panther. So yeah, some kind of like Mechazoid thing along with the action figure. But Mech Strike, I don't think is definitely a, a high end line. I do like the, the cheap single figures that I did pick up. They look pretty good, they look better than I thought. And then down here, got some turtles. The turtle stuff is probably the best price stuff in the store as far as like the base price. These are all $9.97. Uh, most everything else is more than that. And the other series and the other lines so not a turtle collector and here is godzilla uh, from the new empire this thing is horrible looking poor godzilla look at his head look at his tiny head it's so little why does it look like that why did he do that to godzilla so i'm guessing whoever made these toys is a king kong fan because why else would you just do this to Godzilla. His tail's broken off. I guess it comes off. Maybe it's how it's packaged. I don't know. This thing is really bad. That terrible little head. <laughs> His mouth does move and it makes some noise. Wow, I, I really can't believe that got into production. Got some more Godzilla stuff. And then you have a two pack here of Godzilla. And with that scar. Those don't look too bad. Those look alright, I think. And then you have Godzilla. Again, with a tiny head. With a Shimo. <laughs> they look very, like, puppety. Like, Shimo looks like he's trying to give Godzilla a hug. I don't know what's going on with this series, but it's, it's bad. They need to fix that. And on the bottom, they have these bigger versions of these guys. You have Giant Kong, Giant Scar King. Again, these look all right. Scar King and Kong, I think, look pretty decent. Even though I'm not a King Kong fan, really. I think these action figures look pretty okay. Uh, all the Godzillas were gone. So I checked behind all the Kongs. See if Godzilla is back there. See if the big Godzilla had a super tiny head as well. Maybe not, since they're all gone. So maybe bought, people bought those. <laughs> You're going to have a mask. You can do battle as King Kong and Godzilla. You have to have a small head to be Godzilla, though. And some Transformer stuff that's, you know, plasticky and overpriced. So that's it. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.